Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, the Throne of Baal. And when last we left off, Gromnir Ilkhan is dead, and Dawn Ilkhan can now move. Also, I see a dagger plus one in our loot, which is a curious thing to find at this point in the game. But either way, we have some level ups we need to do. I heard the level up sound once uh, the game loaded up again, and I'd have completely not noticed that because the sounds were drowned out by the combat. So, we have one proficiency point, and where am I going to put that? I've got two-handed swords, I've got longbows, I could put them in another large weapon? Like, say, hmm, I mean... Axes is, uh, throwing axes and battle axes. I don't really care about that. I mean, spears, maybe? Let's put them into spears. Why not? Let's put it into spears. Why not? Also, abilities. We have six greater whirlwind attacks and a whirlwind attack. And not a whole lot else that I want. I mean, this ability allows the warrior to... For four rounds, we gain magic resistance 50%. That's not great. We're just going to pick more greater whirlwind attacks, honestly. It's what I'm going to be using against tricky foes. You're going to level up. And you get a proficiency point as well. You're also taking spears, so you know what? Might as well just give you that uh, second point in spears. And we could give you this, but I'm not sure you could cast it even if... Um, even if we took it, so we're going to just give you more greater whirlwinds. You, on the other hand, you only get abilities, and the only things that we can give you now are Summon, Dark, Planetar, Comet, an extra 8th level spell. And you know what? We're going to give you an extra 8th level spell, because that seems pretty good. That seems very good, in fact. Let's uh, go to 8th level spells. Actually, that gives you two extra 8th level spells, or maybe... Maybe we just have more spells because of the increase in intelligence. No, you just have uh, an extra 8th level spell. So, uh, you have this... No, no, wait, hang on. Only one. The Simulacrum is currently uh, faded out because we've used it. Hmm. Improved Mantle might be a good spell for you. It does only work for a couple of rounds, but also Power Word Blind... Ooh, Powered Blind may be useful as well. Doesn't allow a saving throw, so it just hits. You know what? Powered Blind. Oh, we already have a, uh, a Powered Blind, don't we? Never mind. We'll actually pick Improved Mantle. Or Horrid Wilting. Ooh. I mean, that'll hurt a lot. We already have a Horrid Wilting there, but that'll hurt a lot. Actually, no. Pick Improved Mantle. Pick Improved Mantle. Do that. Right, let's go yeah. into the uh, middle here, and let's look at loot. Yes. So, mundane loot first. Mm. I mean, that's mundane, that's mundane, that's mundane, that's mundane, that's mundane, that's mundane, that's mundane. So all of this... Okay, you can't identify that, but you can identify that. It's an adventurer's robe. You, you can't identify that either. Can you identify this? No. Can you identify this? Yes, that's a magic plus one dagger. You can identify that. Woohoo! Right, composite longbow plus one, quarter staff plus two, studded leather plus two, all pretty hum drum. This is fine. What else do we have? This, that, this. Ronox horn. Also, a thousand hundred gold. Ronark's Horn. This helm is carved from the horn of a great ram. Etchings on the horn suggest the beast was once worshipped by ancient barbarian tribes. Crushing resistance, 50%. That's pretty good. I mean, we're not going to be using it, but that's pretty good. Full plate plus two is also pretty good. I mean, you're currently using armor of the heart plus three, which is full plate plus three. You're using... Yeah, it's also full plate plus two. You're using... Gorgon's plate plus four, which is minus one as well. 
But that's, yeah, that's, it would be good if we didn't have a party of people who had lots and lots of uh, really, really good um, armor, which is a shame. Full plate plus two is a nice prize. We also have Grand Master's Armor plus six. Created for the Grandmaster Assassin Vita Mert, this suit not only provided protection, but also enabled Vita to better pursue her fleeing victims, as the unfortunate wizard who fashioned this item for the Ruthless Killer soon learned. Doubles movement rate, armor class 1. This is armor class 1 as well, acid resistance. That, That is an interesting also Wand of Lightning that we can just put away, and acid and ice... I mean, I'm not really fussed about that, but, uh, that's an interesting piece of armor. Doubles movement rate. We could basically just give you haste constantly. But acid resistance is also pretty good. Hmm. I'll think about that one. I'll think about that one. Finally... A Morning Star plus three. Okay, I was thinking that one would be more spectacular than it is. It's not. Okay, there's an iron stone here, and also a lot of potions. Also, a rogue stone. Potions are good because we have had some people quaff a couple of potions in this uh, encounter. You have three of them, but you've got loads of healing anyway, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's pass these over. The Morning Star there looks to be quite unique. Also, you can have that, and you can have that. That is an Adventurer's Robe. That is a Quarter Staff plus two. That is a Spear plus three. This is a Lavender Iron Stone. The bright lavender hue of this stone dances and sparkles as if the stone itself were alive. Saves plus versus death plus four. Well, that's just better than that one, so we'll give you that and uh, saves plus death improvement. You can go in here. And finally, I star plus four. The head of this morning star appears to have been forged from unbreakable ice blue crystal. The handle is chilled to a touch, and the wielder is surrounded by a soothing nimbus of cool air, which protects even against magical fire. It's a plus four morning star with 20% fire resistance. That is not terrible. It's also not that great, but, you know, it's a thing. So, that's pretty much everything looted here. Let's save. Also, there's apparently a way further up that we can go, so let's see about that. And this is when we find even more stuff! We're probably not going to find more stuff. Your party before venturing forth. Over here is... Oh, it brings us to here! Okay, we're out now. Oh, also, you're burning. Hang on. You're no longer burning. So we can leave whenever we like, and this is good. But there is one thing I want to do before we leave. Actually, a few things I want to do before we leave. Um, have you nothing else do you have, have a certain spell? That is... Spook. Hmm. Spook could work. Yes. What I'm thinking is that um, Vaykang needs to be scared, and actually one of the best ways to scare Vaykang may very well be with a uh, a magic scroll, and I think a scroll of fear might do the trick, or even spook. I, I, I don't know if spook will be sufficient, but either way, we have things to sell before we think about any of that, so uh, put this away, put that there, put that there. Uh, give you that, give you that, and give you this. All of these combined. We've got that. We've got this, and we have got that for a charisma of 20. Yeah. That is one better than before. That is going to get us some nice, nice extra cash. And we want extra cash because we're going to be spending a fair bit uh, in the future. Okay. Mm, 
Buying and selling. Some cheap beer for you. All right, here. Yeah. Let's open up this uh, bag because there's a uh, there's a lot in here we want to sell. Okay. Uh, Morning Star plus three. Wand of Lightning is worth practically nothing. All of that is there. Full plate plus two is eight thousand two hundred and fifty. I mean, that's nice. A dagger. Two spears plus three. Three adventurers' robes. Some quarterstaffs, some bolts, some more bolts, some bullets, some more bullets, short swords plus two, quarterstaffs plus one, battle axes plus two, five of them, warhammers plus two, seven of them, eight composite lombos, eight suits of studded leather plus two, 413 arrows plus one, 27 plus one battle axes, 16 suits of full plate, two daggers plus two, a leather armor plus one, a long sword plus one, or four of them, some short swords plus two, and that is 77,736 gold. That's a lot of gold! And I'm not selling anything super valuable here apart from the, uh, the full plate. Sell! We keep everything that's cool, and we have, uh, we have right there 129,466 gold, which is not bad. I mean, you're trying to sell these things for a lot more, but, but I don't need any of these. Also, is there anything else in the other bag of holding that I can, uh, sell? The answer is not really. What about this bag of holding? There may be something, I mean, Casimir... Um, you know, this is all the, like, super unique magical stuff that I, I don't think I want to sell. Yeah, this is all the super unique magical stuff, so, uh, I'm actually gonna keep all of this. And I don't think there's too much in your inventory that I want, so let's close. I'm waiting. And let's go and buy a couple of spells, because if there's anything that I want to buy right now, also if there's anything I want to do is that I want to, uh... No, 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 let's actually keep things like this, because this will make buying things cheaper as well. I mean, even without armor, you still have an armor class of zero. That says something about how well protected we are. Okay. We have a few spell scrolls we need to buy. Hello. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory High level ones at that. We want to buy... Also, we want to buy all those potions of superior healing as well while we're at it. Let's buy all of them. They're pretty useful. We could buy all of them too. We'll buy the potions of healing. Also, an item that gives us 40% fire resistance for super cheap? Sure! Also, do you have a potion of insight? Uh, no, you don't. Okay, never mind. Okay. Super high level spells. Bigby's Crushing Hand is not very good. And we're not going to be bothering with Bigby's Crushing Hand. It doesn't deal a huge amount of damage. It does pin people down, but it's not that good. Imprisonment, however, I mean, that's just a cool spell just to have even if only for flavor. Uh, Black Blade of Disaster, I mean, it's not great because you're a wizard and you're not going to be in melee. Good if you're a fighter wizard. That's really good if you're a fighter wizard. Shape Change, also not especially great. I don't think we want Shape Change either. Uh, spell Trigger, however, we might want Spell Trigger. That is a ninth, an eighth level spell. Allows you to store in spells in a magical, um, in a magical ability that is created. This item, this item, a trigger can store three spells to be released simultaneously, all of which must be sixth level or lower. That's a good spell to learn. Another Big B spell. We actually know most of these spells. Okay, spell deflection. We can also learn that while I'm thinking about it. Um. Hmm. There's really not much else. 
There's really not much else. I wonder if the spook spell is going to be sufficient. I don't think it will be. But there we go. You have, what, 20 intelligence? So there is zero chance of you failing to learn these. Absolutely zero. So I'll put these back on you for now. And hand... You might as well hold on to that, to be honest. Hand that back, hand that back, hand that back. Put this in here. Give these to you, to be honest, because you're going to need them more. That goes there. You wear that. Yes, Marvelous. Master. Save. Now? Always save before you start learning uh, spells, just in case. Yes. And learn. Learn. Failed. You have 20 intelligence and you failed to learn it. See, I thought you could just learn spells guaranteed at 20 intelligence. Apparently not, but we've learned them all now. Also, learning spells does give you a tiny bit of experience, which is nice. I think it's like 9,000 per. Yeah, 9,000, 8,000, and 6,000. We have a lot of gold pieces to rub together. A lot of them. Also, Chain Contingency, as someone has said, is a fantastic spell, and I should probably have this prepared. Chain Contingency channels some of the magical energy of the wizard to release it under only special circumstances. The wizard chooses three spells, such as being hit when these conditions occur. All three spells are cast immediately. What is it now? That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to go into the tavern, because I don't think there are any more quests I need to do here right now. Also, it's starting to rain. Whatever and I'm going want. to try... I don't know if this is going to work. Where is the spook spell? I'm going to try having the spook spell prepared. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. And... Using it on Vakang. If you said so. I got some cheap. I would like to indeed uh, rest. Peasants' rooms. That's fine. We just are doing that for the uh, Have you nothing else ability for? to right. rememorize our spells. Okay, will this work? Hmm. It'll either work or it will anger the. And also, Edwin got pushed away by a rat there. Little uh, quirk of the system. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. Yes, so, master. spook what I fetch now? on Vakang. What? It, it's working! I'm starting to feel fear! That that means I'll teleport away! Oh, thank you! Thank you! And off he goes! He took a lot of damage there, yes. but he's fine. Yep, spook was sufficient, and I'm so glad that spook was sufficient there. A level one spell. We just had to make him feel magical fear. So let's, uh... Let's rest again. One gold. That's fine. Another close one. What we want to do now is use our pocket plane ability. And get out of here. Because now, we can use it to go other places. Hello! We're back, Sespinar. Because if we go to here... Whatever you desire. Ooh. Shiny ones. Ooh. Here we go. Shiny ones. We can actually just go back to Saradush if we like. You can use your play in the door to travel to separate, several places. Where would you wish to go? You can just go back to where you came from. But we wish to escape Saradush and make our way to Yagashura's home in the Marching Mountains. The magic of this plane can place you in the wilderness on the road to Yagashura's home. Well, seems good. Also, enemies. The magic of the pocket plane has placed you in the wilderness on the road to Yagashura's home. Your map has been updated and you shall have to make your way to Yagashura's area and discover the source of his invulnerability. Also, there may have been combat nearby. There are some Yagashura soldiers here. Well, we know what to do with Yagashura soldiers. Have at thee! 
Let us try and save. Oh, wow. There is a... There's combat going on here. Get them. There's a reward. The army will kill us. Well, let's have at thee. These enemies, by the way, have entirely non-magical equipment. So, if you took the ability to uh, resist normal and uh, plus one weapons, you would be completely unharmed here. It's them! The one Yagashura wanted! Yep, they are turning away from uh, who they were attacking and hitting us. This uh, is not going to end well for you. It, it's really not. I mean, you're tough. You're not that tough, however. And you're gone. Okay, let's loot. So, tiny amounts of gold, and, and a literally mundane armor. I mean, we, we're seeing suits of... Uh, I steady bit of a helmet there. We're seeing suits of splint mail here. Splint mail hasn't been a good uh, item to pick up since midway through Baldur's Gate 1. And yet here we are in Baldur's Gate Throne of Baal. Also, there was one nice item, and that is a magical sword. That said, it's not going to be that super amazing. Probably just going to be a uh, plus one or a plus two sword. Also, magical scroll, a bit too far away. That's fine. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. And there were a few more things here that we can also grab. And these are also not going to be that spectacular. Nope, they're not that spectacular. Right, Have you not yes. time to move on. Yes, master. But first, is this a plus one greatsword? It is a plus one greatsword. Surprising no one. Also, healing potions. Also, there was a uh, nice potion there as well. And so, when we come back, folks, we will explore this area. This area is not actually that big. We are, I do believe, now... Hang on, where do we... Uh, the world map. We are here right now. Also, if you wanted to get access to Watcher's Keep, it is over there. There's the Forest of Mir, and there is the Marching Mountains. Can't get to uh, Saradush, cannot get to the Siege Camp right now. And that is fair enough. And so... We will explore the countryside and try and find the weakness of Yagashura. Because if we don't, um, our quest is really going to end here. It, it really, really will. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.